In this video, uh, I'm going to solve a simple differential equation by separating the variables. So the equation is like this. x minus 1 divided by dx is equal to y plus 1, where 0, 1 is a point on the curve. Now, whenever you have a differential equation, if you have a simple equation, the solution will be uh, one number or more than one number. But when you're solving a differential equation, you don't get one number, but you get an equation or a family of equation. Okay, but here, as we know one point, you can find the particular solution. So, generally speaking, when you're solving a differential equation, you get a family of equation or your general equation. And from the general equation, if you want to know some information, you can find the particular solution. So, the method is pretty simple what we do is you're going to separate isolate or separate the variables so you've got x you're going to separate x with dx so the differentials are dy and dx so i'm going to separate y with dy and x with dx so what can we do so i have got one plus y so y plus one here and i got a dy here and i got x minus one and dx here so what can I do? So can I write this step like this? 1 over, let me rewrite it again. So this is 1 over y plus 1 dy is equal to 1 over x minus 1 dx. So what I have done is basically this y minus y plus 1 I've divided both sides by y plus 1. So if you divide this side by y plus 1, you divide this side by y plus 1. Okay. And I have also divided both sides by x minus 1. Okay. So I hope you can see that. So, or in other words, you're dividing both sides by um, x minus 1 and x plus 1. So, uh, so that's what you get here. And then you can see... I have multiplied both sides by dx. Okay, so now this is, I've separated the variable. This is called separating the variables. So now I can integrate with respect to y on this side and with respect to x on this side. So this is integration of 1 over y plus 1 dy is equal to integration of 1 over x minus 1 dx. Okay, so what will happen now? So here, uh, you've got uh, the integrate on both sides. So here, what will happen? So integration, you should know integration of 1 over x dx is natural log of x plus c. So uh, this is integration of 1 over x. So I'm not going to put a constant on both sides because it's an, only an arbitrary constant. So let me put, so this is natural log of absolute value of one, y plus 1 plus, say, let me write c1 here, is equal to natural log of x minus 1 plus c2. So it will happen. I'm going to bring this on this side. So natural log of y plus 1 minus natural log of x minus 1 is equal. I just want to show you that you don't need to put both these constant. Now this I can say is a new constant as C3. So, sorry, I should have written C1 here. So C2 minus C1 here. So instead of putting constant on both sides, it's better to put constant on one side. That is the same thing because this is an arbitrary constant. And this is also a constant. So constant, take away constant, would be a new constant. So, so this will become, so now what do we know of what is natural log of x minus natural log of y? Can I write this as natural log of x over y? Okay, so this is natural log of, why did I put this line here? So natural log of x, modulus of x, minus natural log of y 
is natural log of x over y. So I can use the same principle. So I can say, okay, then this means natural log of y plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to a constant. So I'll, let me put a new C there. Now the base of natural log is E. So if you want to write this in exponential form, you can write, okay, because you know the formula. If, say, natural log of, say, phi is equal to, say, x, whatever that number is, I can say phi is equal to e to the power x. Okay, you should be knowing this. You can check that on the calculator. e to the power, you do natural log of phi, whatever number that you get, and you raise e by that number, you'll get phi. So I'm not going into that detail. So I can say now, uh, therefore, I can say y plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to e to the power c. Okay. Now, e is a constant and c is a constant. So this whole thing will be new constants here. Let me name that as a. Therefore, can I say y plus 1 is equal to uh, is equal to um, a times x minus 1. Okay, so let us simplify this. So can I put, uh, what do we know? We know that point zero 0,1 is a point on the curve. Okay, so let me write that. Now, zero 0,1 lies on this curve, which implies, I can say x is 0 and y is 1. So I can put this in this equation. So I can say 1 plus 1 is equal to a times 0 minus 1. So a is equal to negative a, which implies a is equal to negative 2. So I can put this back into this equation. So I can say, therefore, y plus 1 is equal to a. We know a. What's a? a is a is negative 2 times x minus 1. So let me simplify this. So I can say y plus 1 is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to take away, if you take away 1 from this side, take away 1 from this side. So this becomes y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. So this is the particular solution of our differential equation. See you in the next video.